So, what has changed since last year? Well, I grew a beard. <laughs> To develop software skills, to challenge myself, to learn how to design electrical components, to get more experience, to spend my free time in a meaningful way. I work in a team where I could test my existing programming skills. I wanted to explore new opportunities. Because I wanted to be in community. I like boats. New year, new challenges, new vehicle. And this time we mean business. We plan to approach all of the tasks and finally get that gold. When it comes to mechanical aspects of our project, this year we focus on improving our mass distribution by reducing the weight of superstructure. This resulted in lowering the center of gravity of our new vehicle and enhancing its overall stability. Last year we had a problem. Our boat was too shaky. That's why this year, we designed our hull to pierce through the waves instead of climbing on them. Another interesting feature of our new vehicle's hull is that it will be fully 3D printed out of PLA Plus filament. Last year, we came up with a good electrical architecture for our boat based on an Ethernet network and a custom power distribution system. This year, we tried to focus on optimizing our design and making it more space efficient. That's why we partnered with Central Point and for electronics. They helped us design our custom PCBs. I am certain that our electrical system will be more reliable than ever. Our software architecture system is similar to the one we used last year. Hardware changes include new Venko control units, new onboard computer, OGD long-range camera, which is more effective at longer ranges. This year we plan to uh, test uh, behavioral trees in simulation in gazebo. Things on the ground are as important as things on the water. That's why we created custom build operator control station with our own interface between ASV and operator. Our general approach to engineering can be summarized in three simple words. Testing, testing, and one more time, testing. We test our design not only in aforementioned simulation, but we also conduct live tests. And we have also built a rover that allows us to test algorithms on land without the logistical hurdles of needing to come to the shipyard. And that's Sea Sentinel. See you in Florida.